What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of My Something Random. I am your host, Adam Munsell. Today, we've got a special video, but before we get into the video, be sure and hit that like and subscribe button if you've never been to my channel, and that little bell icon in the corner. That lets you know of any new videos that I drop. Today's video, if you watched my last video, we are doing a series called Wixify Your Shop. What that is, is we are installing as many Wixy digital gauges as we can on the tools in my shop. Last week we installed one on the drum sander, the week before we installed one on the drill press here. And today we've got a special one. I said in my video last week that we'd be putting it on the planer. We're not doing that today. We're installing one on a router table. Yes, you heard me right. They make one for a router table. Also, pretty cool, we are installing a brand new router lift. This is the Jesta Master R2 router lift. So stay tuned and we'll get this installed. So my router table is a woodpecker router table. I don't know the particular model of it, but I've had it a number of years. I picked it up at my local Woodcraft and I've been doing some upgrades to it. The first thing I did was install this big remote uh, well, it's not a remote switch, but it's an external switch. Makes it easy to turn it on and off your router. I really, really recommend these. are super simple to install. And then the next thing is I installed a cabinet underneath. Uh, this particular one I picked up, and it's called Dust Right. Works really well. But the next two things I want to do are install a router lift and also a digital readout. What the digital readout is going to do is going to, it's going to tell me my bit height just by turning the knob and it's going to have it read out on a digital display. This readout is made by Wixie and this is the series that we're doing. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to take off the fence, which is real simple to install, and we're going to go ahead and pull the router out. favorite part of any build, opening the box for the first time and seeing what kind of goodies we get in there. I will make sure to throw the part numbers of everything that I get in the description below, so if you're interested in picking up one for yourselves, I'll put it in the link below. Ooh, bubble wrap. This would be your collet removal tool uh, for different size collets to get your opening smaller for any different size router bits that you have. Looks like you've got an Allen key in there and some different leveling screws um, and some just different goodies. So we'll set that aside. an important piece don't throw that away that is your knob for leveling everything so. should I leave it in here take it out of the box I think it should take it out of the box look at that that is beautiful all metal top, really heavy duty, and this is made to accommodate a number of different size routers. So you'll want to pull out the manual and look and see what size router you have, and it'll tell you which holes to unscrew these to. So in my case, uh, I have a two and three quarter horse Porter cable router, so this may or may not be already set up for it. We're going to see here, so. Bear with me. So next, we went ahead and slid the motor in between these. Just find a good spot where the cord is hanging off the back. 
and go ahead and slide that down. Next thing you're going on is, is find out how deep your router base is going to sit in the lift. And so you're going to want to screw your plate all the way down um, until you have maximum height on it. And then slide this in where your call is nice and exposed above the table so it makes easy access for your wrenches. So I went ahead and did that off camera really quick just to make sure that it's going to fit. And it does. And let's give my wrench a check. And it makes it so you can get both wrenches on there easily as well as access to the locking spindle button on the side. So now I'm going to go ahead and lower that back down and we are going to go ahead and tighten it in the base. And to tighten it in the base, you are going to use this locking collar right here as well as your lift to tighten the jaws around the base. Now that we've gotten that tightened down with that guy right there, we're gonna go ahead and drop it in our table and tighten, or actually put in our leveling screws and go ahead and get the thing leveled. Then we'll come back and we're gonna add our digital readout. Okay, so, the way we're going to level this is we're going to take a block of wood with a nice crisp edge on it and we're going to run it on all the corners to make sure it's not catching. And we're going to do this outside and inside. And just make sure you don't have a bunch of dust on it or something like that and that'll keep you from scratching this as well. So now that we've got these all leveled, there are three eccentric, well they're not eccentric, but they're spacers to keep this from moving around if you're not able to use these screw holes in the side. So we'll just loosen these guys up, make sure that's nice and tight to the side, and then we'll pull that over in the slot, and then it won't move side to side or up and down, and it will fit nice and tight in the slot. So let's go ahead and lower that down just a little bit. And we'll go ahead and put a collar in. Using our collar removal tool, one way is tighten, one way is loosen. So Counterclockwise is tighten, clockwise is loosen. So that's nice and flat and flush in there. And we're going to go ahead and lower this below the table because we're going to take this back out and install our digital readout. So this is the Wixi remote router readout and fits routers, shapers, and lifts, and more. It can be probably fit to use a number of things, but it's pretty straightforward. This rides up and down on a track. One of these will mount on the bottom of the router table, and then this will measure as the router lift moves up and down, and this will be routed, mounted outside so you can have an accurate digital readout of where your router bit is. All right, so looking over everything that comes in the box, you have a package of hardware with a number of different mounting brackets for different types of routers and lifts. You have the readout itself that just slides up and down. Your connecting cable. And obviously your readout as well. So we'll set this aside. We won't need the cable right now. 
and we'll need this guy. Now this half comes apart, and so we'll probably take that apart. And if you'll notice on the bottom of the readout, it has mounting holes for the DRO. Now this is not the one specifically for this lift, and I wasn't for sure if it did um, have the holes or not, but we'll see if we can't use the existing holes to mount it to the lift here. So looking over the different hardware, you got a drill bit specifically for these machine screws, and this drill bit is specifically sized to these, and these screw in really nice. I've had to drill some of my own holes in some of the machines that I've installed them in, and these fit in really, really nice. You have a magnet for attaching to somewhere on here. Of course, this whole thing is made out of aluminum, so we may have a fun time finding out where to put that as well as some different mounting brackets. So we are gonna use this L mounting bracket and this first little bushing here, which is the little round one with a step on it. Putting it in the top of the hole, we'll be using the small hole on the L bracket and we'll be using this machine screw. So we'll put it through there. And then in between, you'll have one more plastic bushing that will go in between the two halves. Line the L bracket up like that. And use the nut on the back side. And right now we're just going to go ahead and thumb tighten stuff. So we're going to be able to use one of these. So sliding it back on, you want the flange coming off the back. And we are going to mount it right there. So go ahead and snug that screw up on there that I told you to leave loose. And if you're going to use the existing holes, you're going to have to go out and get a screw. Unfortunately, it did not come with a screw that fit these holes that are pre-drilled here. Now you can drill your own. Next is... We need to bend this bracket at an L, so it contacts this, in which case the magnet will stick on that. So next, what needs to happen is we're gonna go ahead and stick this on, and what we're gonna do is one of these little straight brackets that it comes with, we need to bend it at an L, and we need to drill a hole on the side of our lift. I know it's kinda scary drilling a hole in your brand new lift, but this drill bit does a really good job and that little L bracket that will screw in there will be able so we can fix this magnet. And that magnet is what brings this up and down on the readout. So I've went ahead and made a little mark where I'm going to go ahead and drill using the supplied drill bit. Don't use any other drill bit. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and thread this in, and it uses a 7 millimeter. Just be really careful and slow when you first thread this in, just so you get it in straight when it cuts those threads. And don't over tighten it once you get it all the way in, just to make sure that you don't strip it. So next, we need to bend this bracket like this. So I am keeping the little hole here, which is gonna thread here, and the little hole here, which is going to screw on to our magnet with a little nut. So where I bent it was right at the beginning of the long hole there. And so when that sits up there, this is gonna raise up here, and the magnet will touch. Alright, so now that we've got this tightened down and bolted on, we can go ahead and grab our cord. It does not matter which direction we plug it in because it's the same on both sides. And we're going to plug it in there. Actually, just so you don't damage stuff, I'd go ahead and thread it through your router box if you've got one first. 
and then go ahead and plug it in just so you're not banging and tugging on, you know, stuff right there. Okay, so now you've got your cord. Now you decide where you want to put this. Um, this mounting bracket you can really put anywhere, but you don't want to put it on a face here because if you run any kind of tall boards, you're going to hit it and you're going to run into this. The other option is to mount it on the front or just somewhere that is not obtrusive to get in the way. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and decide of a good mounting spot and then we'll get this mounted turned on and I can show you how it works. All right, so it took me a little bit to figure out where exactly I wanted it, and I chose to mount it right back here. This way it's not in the way. Um, I can still angle this for the best visibility, as well as I'm able to get my fence off if I need it, and it doesn't obstruct my table. So this takes two AAA batteries. I like that it doesn't take the coin cells, which are kind of expensive and not quite as easy to find. Of course, you can order tons of them on Amazon, but this makes it super simple. Now, since we've got the router lift installed, I should be able to raise and lower my table to wherever I want it. So let's go ahead and put a bit in here and I'll show you how to work. So now let's go ahead and zero it out. So just take a piece of wood and put it on top or metal or anything. Until it just touches. So now we'll look at our digital readout and we'll hold zero. And we have zeroed our bit out. So if we come back here and start turning really slowly, we have control of it very, very precisely and repeatable. If I want to zero it again, this button sorry and we're zeroed wherever I go so I can crank it up to there want to zero it again push that button twice and you're back to zero this will work with any bit any router table I really hope you guys like this this was a fun install I'm really looking forward to using both this lift system and the Wixie digital readout. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I really appreciate it. Be sure and hit that like and subscribe button and check out all the videos that I make. Thanks guys.